What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy and welcome back to Expeditions Rome. We are continuing on our advancement. We actually made it on to mainland Asia, or Asia Minor, or Asia Minor, however they pronounce it. Um, and we're going to continue on by attacking the settlement of Mysia. So let's get our legion together. We were going to wait for our manpower to be recovered, which might be a smart idea. You would think, so let's do that. We got plenty of, yeah, plenty of rations. So we'll just wait. Maybe we can link up with our friend here. If I can move. Observatory. Yeah, we found the tannery. This is the temple. I don't think we can do anything with these until... Upon... The tall mountain peak stands a grand temple devoted by a gr to the Greek god of healing, knowledge, power. Healing, knowledge, music, and arts. Temple is of the utmost cultural importance and a reason. Yeah, sure. Let's enter. Which Praetorians do you want to bring into this area? Well, what is this going to do? All of them? Do we want to bring all of them? We can only bring three. What's going to happen here? Do we want to wait until... Maybe we want to wait until we've actually conquered this area. Before we get involved with that. Because we're we're pretty close. We're Let's just wait. Hunting round grounds. The observatory. So there's plenty of stuff to... Why does this keep stopping? Okay, so manpower has been replenished, or at least some of it. So let's head in here. Yeah, we're going to attack the outpost. Looks like we have pretty much double numbers on them. A little bit short of that. So yeah, let's attack. I guess we don't need... Alright, yeah, let's head in here. We don't need our... We don't need these guys for the attack. So we'll send... We'll send them in. He can... He can stay out. I don't know what this is all about. We're just gonna... We're, this is kind of a learning... Establish a foothold. Looks like we have a merchant over here. Good day to you, my friend. May I interest you in some finely crafted metalwork by local artisans? Uh, my name is Impact Romulus Romulus Easy. May I? What may I call you? I am called Voithos. Your name marks you as a person of great distinction. It is my honor to meet you. Are you a smith or a priest? Correct. <laughs> I am both. A priest of Ephesus, the god of carpenters, craftsmen, artisans, and indeed smiths. It is my view that in order to pay full and proper tribute to Ephesus Clitotechnes, one must practice at least one of his crafts. I endeavor to practice them all. If you worship Hepidictus, what are you doing at the temple? You say you sell items crafted by local artisans, not of your own creation. I would not sell anything that I create. My hands and all that they make belong to Ephesus. I give it away freely to those in great need. But in the mercantile arts, I have found a way to sustain myself, as all men must do. Some of these items were donated to me, others I have purchased in order to resell. Though I have dedicated myself to the lame one, I both love and admire Apollon. Both are gods of creation, of art and beauty. There is no temple here to Ephesus, but his works are carried out every day to the benefit of everyone. 
All right, let's see what he has Finely to sell. Finely wrought jewelry, sturdy tools, sharp weapons, items of pride and importance. Would you like to take a look? Do you sell materials for crafting weapons? I would be thrilled to part with some of my materials. It is my duty and my pleasure to promote the art of smithing and other crafts. Um, I'm in the market for a well-weighted blade. Yeah, no, let's... Of tools, I have plenty. How many do you need? Okay, we can buy some tools. Looks like one tool is a hundred crowns. Maybe we want to buy five. How many javelin tools would you like to purchase? Five? That seems like a decent number. Sure. All right. Let's... Do we want to just leave here and then come back when we actually conquer this area? Like, can we come up here? I don't know. Or if we just stuck down... Like, this seems like a whole area. Like, this whole situation here. The Man Crusher. You are the Man Crusher, aren't you? I've been, a, I've been known to crush the occasional man, sure. Indeed you have, Domine. Yet, in this specific case, I fear this young man is referring to me. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. Wait, what? Man Crusher? Are you serious? That's a euphemism, surely? I'm afraid not. And nothing good ever came out of that name. I greet you, young man. I was indeed known as the Man Crusher of Alicarnassus. But my past life is a distant memory now. Tell your master I don't fight for sport anymore. Cheater! I'm not here to hire you. I'm here for vengeance. I have so many questions. Well, you better watch your mouth or you're gonna get you're gonna get smashed in a second. Um, slow down and tell me who you are, Man Crusher. Was your nickname? You seek vengeance. No, let's. Igres, son of the Ocles, son of the Adoros, spear thrower and Pancration athlete, champion, of course. Diodoros, you are his grandchild. Is he? Is he still alive? Grief has turned him into a husk of the man he once was, but he is indeed still alive. Cheater. Um, Man Crusher was your nickname. I used to be a wrestler. I was pretty good at it, too. I represented my hometown, Alicarnassus, in the Olympic Games. With honor, mostly. Honor? What do you know of honor? It is because of you my grandfather suffers now. Ah, uh, you were fighting for sport. Before I was sold as a servus, I was the champion of my people. Adored and envied by many. Obviously, no one was bold enough to challenge me. Especially when it came to Pancration. Until my grandfather faced you. And you had to cheat in order to preserve your fame and fortune. Yeah, what is Pancration? It is a kind of wrestling. Very popular around Aegaeu Mare. One of the defining competitions in our Olympiads. Well, you wouldn't be the first person to cheat in the Olympics, so... Or the last. Uh, you seek vengeance. Speaking of Olympics, they just ended. The, uh... Yeah, the Winter Games in... In, uh, Beijing. I don't know how well Canada did. I know we lost the, uh... We didn't get gold in hockey. I don't know how we did in curling. I didn't really follow it that much. I didn't have much time to, uh... To see... I know the women's hockey, hockey, uh, hockey team won gold, but uh, but I digress. Um, you seek vengeance. Yeah. The man crusher of Halicarnassus was going to face my grandfather in the games. Everyone knew he'd lose, for the Adorus was the greatest wrestler Cos has ever produced. He was formidable, and frankly, for the first time in my life, I was afraid of losing. They sent me to the games and told me, come back with the trophy, 
or do not come back at all. So let me guess you defeated uh, Doros, Dos, and... Okay. Not exactly. I didn't even face him. I stole the trophy. Oh, shit. You did what? I certainly didn't see this coming. Cinerus is a thief, huh? I reject that characterization of me. I've stolen only once. That hardly constitutes a habit. You should know, young man. As a result of my actions, Hali Karnassus was expelled from the Union. I have paid for my crimes. I am told you were exiled and sold as a Servus. That still doesn't satisfy my grandfather's honor. The trophy belongs to my family. Give it back. Perhaps you and his grass should fight again. No, let's just give back the damn trophy. This event was a lifetime ago. Even if the trophy was still in Alicarnassus, my exile remains in place. They wouldn't let me in. I guess we're going to do a rematch. I, Pigress, accept this challenge in my grandfather's name. He is a frail old man who can barely lift his finger now. But you can accept me as an extension of his will. Wait. Pigris is a professional wrestler in his prime. Cinerus, however formidable, is an old man. He doesn't stand a chance against Pigris. It's not fair. You're right, Kenturio, but what is? <laughs> Perhaps this is how it's supposed to be. This is how I finally pay for my crimes. It doesn't even come close to the level of unfairness achieved by your theft. You stole my grandfather's title and glory. Time to pay. I see your point. And in hindsight, I think I have deserved this. Come on, Pigris. Let us see if you're capable of supporting your words with your actions. Damn. What's, go what's going on? I have been waiting for this for a long oh, time. Oh, shit. Please don't hurt him. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Ouch. Get up, old man. <laughs> Show me if there's still anything left of the man crusher in you. Your grandfather has trained you well. Come on. Damn. Got foiled by this. Harsh mistress, it seems. It has left you shriveled and defenseless. Oh, <laughs> I felt that in my old bones, that's for sure. But I'm not done yet. You're not gonna fall for the same oh. move now, are you? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. My arm. You broke my arm. Oh man. That's enough, yeah. Help me stand. You have been rightfully defeated, Cineros, the Man Crusher. Do not show your face on this soil again. Okay, well, you just broke his arm for what? I guess he's paid back his honor. Well, that's unfortunate. We just... We got a broken arm now. Does that... Um... Yeah, triage. Uh, the list... So, treating injuries... An injury severity turns out close. The characters are dying... Did he just... So it's actually... Moderate severity. Each day if left untreated. So we need to get him... No healers available. That's not good. Treatment of information tells you how long it will... It will be for character to be back to full health and how much medicine... Um, you'll spend each day to treat the injury. Treating injuries. Choose a healer to treat your Praetorian. A healer is... Anyone with a first aid doctor or a physician perk. Okay, so we have... Don't I have that? They can not cure an injury, only prevent it from getting worse until a doctor can look at it. If you have no one with a doctor perk on your team, you can must bring your injured Praetorian back to the Legion camp for treatment. Certain injuries types are too complicated even for a doctor. You must be treated by an experienced physician if you... If you have no one with a physician perk in your team, you must bring the character back to the infirmary at the Legion camp. Alright, well, we don't have anyone. So, I think he's our actual doctor, but we have... 
field medic. Yeah. See, we have field medic. Damn, he got his ass kicked. <laughs> that was actually kind of embarrassing. But, uh, I mean, the guy's like... Probably double his age. But he, I mean, he holds, he holds his own in actual combat when we use him. But he didn't do very well in that. <laughs> um, do we want to keep this, keep this up before we uh, get ourselves in, into even more trouble? He won't. How long will you let him string you along like this? You only see it from the out. Oh, little kitty cat. Oh, don't step on him. Jesus. I don't know where we're going. Jesus. Um. I guess that's nothing. Hopefully my uh, video doesn't get flagged for that statue. <laughs> oh, there's a chest over here. How the hell do we get down there? Climb this. Hopefully we're not stealing anyone's, like, secret stash life savings that he was hiding. Schematic book. Ooh. Those would be nice. Nice. This place is pretty big. Where does this loop around to? Okay, it loops around all the way over there. Well, let's keep going up, I guess. We can't talk to anybody over here. Big statue. Nobody in the gardens we can talk to. This guy's... Yeah, he's just chilling. That's a pretty cool view, though. Looks like we're starting to get to the entrance of this place. What's, uh, what's this? A new bow. Well, how do we get in there? Can we? What is this? Listen, there's a dull quality to our footsteps here. I think there is a chamber beneath our feet. Missing item. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bow in there. I guess we'll have to come back. But for now, ooh, there's somebody we can talk to over here. Let's talk to this gentleman. Hopefully he doesn't break someone else's arm. A Roman officer at my temple. I am Theophilus, high priest of Apollon and ruler of Musia. It is foolish of you to come here, considering that we are at war. But I will not spill your blood in front of Apollon Alexikakos. Good, it'd be a shame if my men had to kill you in front of your own temple. How gracious of you have come to discuss alliance. Yeah. Your legion has unlawfully occupied Lesbos. You must leave at once, or be destroyed by King Mithridates. A traitorous rebel pres presume presumes to tell... Uh, the goddess of Rome. What an awful and what is not. We're not occupiers, we are liberators, we are freeing into my... Yeah. My predecessor, 
Pragonius Mauro was an arrogant Optimus who cared not one iota for the wishes of his people. You dog fucking Romans think you can just sit in your fancy villas and decree how people should live their lives hundreds of leagues away. Well, I say enough. With the support of Pontus, I have cast off the tyranny of Rome, unseated that sniveling sycophant Mauro, and the people love me for it. They love Mithridates Megas. Withdraw your support from Methodrid. I, I'm just going to butcher these names, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just no way around it. Uh, and we won't say the new local governor of, of uh, Maiza. And we'll even consider letting you live. I don't care. The mess. So, no. Withdraw your troops from the siege of. I'll no, leave. No. Yeah. Never. Musia owes everything to Pontus. Our oaths of fealty to the alliance will never be broken. Then you will be destroyed. We shall see about that. Um. And of course, you saw the ruler of Tibol. So, do we. Uh, do we get a level up there? No, just inventory. We have this. Yeah, nobody, uh, nobody leveled up. I gotta keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't, uh, get any worse. I guess he won't get worse in here, because time technically isn't passing. You are still here. For the life of me, I cannot fathom why. Because I enjoy your charming company. Get out of my sight. <laughs> okay. Looks like there's nothing else here. It is unusual to see a Roman soldier here in these times. Are we not at war with Rome? I was invited here to speak to... Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Pleased to meet you. I am honored to meet you. My name is Rianus. I am a disciple of Theophilus. Where are you from? Why do you ask? Your dialect sounds familiar. Your dialect sounds familiar. Perhaps you've passed through my home region, but I should be very surprised if so. I hail from a small village in the mountains, a day's travel east of Adramition. I have a great deal of family there. It is fortunate that Apollon gifted me a keen mind, or I would be there still, herding sheep for my uncle. Well, I gotta say, the uh, voice acting... Oh, there's a chest here. The... Or are we just gonna sit down? Or are you just gonna sit down? Okay. What's this guy doing? He's just shoveling flowers. Um, yeah, the voice acting and dialogue's uh, pretty good, and the writing seems to be not too bad as well. Considering this game is kind of word... Have you sacrificed anything today? It's, uh, yeah, very word-heavy. How long do I have to keep doing like this? This whole episode has turned I'm into just dialogue, which is... Oh, so, no, it's nice... Oh my god, so... What the hell happened over here? Anyone? Jesus. The temple is burning down! Yeah, it's nice to at least have decent writing and voice acting. Thank the gods you are here. You must help us. The temple is burning. If I'm going to risk my health uh, and that of my people for your temple, it is only fair that we that we be uh, compensated. Don't worry, though. It'll be much cheaper for you to pay us than to build a whole new temple. Typical greedy Romans. Fine. Save our temple, and we will pay you. Let's get the fire chain started. Look, the builders left a barrel of water for us there. Everyone, grab a jug. Where? <laughs> Where's the water? There it is. All right, well, let's get you guys close to the water. At least as close as possible. Looks like we got a battle here. A battle of water. I don't want to get too close in case it spreads. So let's just head here. Can 
Can we throw it from here? We can. We can actually toss it pretty far. Oh, nice. still has a jug. I don't know if you can actually hit anything from where you are. Yeah. Alright, well let's, uh, can we bring these people? No, everyone's pretty much... Yeah, they're all spent. Yeah, let's get you down. Let's get you down here. Fighting this fire. Oh, we can get pretty close. Alright, who else has some decent movement? I don't know if we're going to be able to hit anything with this. Maybe we could... Nah, I don't want to waste it on that. Oh yeah, you can get nice and close. Close enough? No. Yeah, I don't want to waste it. That's unfortunate. That's spread a little bit. That's okay. Wait. Oh, you don't have a... You don't have a jug of water. I need to, like, get this under control. Water jug, four remaining. Okay, nobody can move. You can move one tile. This should take out this whole area. Good. Now we need to... get you, like, right here, and then... you should be able to extinguish all this stuff. Oh, come on. <laughs> One measly, uh... flame there. You can't hit it, can you? No. What about you? No. Well, hopefully that doesn't spread to the point where we can't actually deal with it on the next turn. How much is it going to spread? Spread. 
Oh, it only spread. It didn't spread at all. Good. Oh, we got some combat in there. Man, we gotta fix him. What do we get for that? Oh, thank you. If it weren't for you, our temple would be ashes now. What was happening there? Somebody set the temple on fire. Not all of the locals are fond of Apollon. Ah, oh, why would anyone set the temple on fire? They believe the temple is built on an old pathway to Hades. Is it? How should I know? It's been here for hundreds of seasons. I wasn't even born back then. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't do this for free. <sighs> I will not go back on my word. Here, your payment. Ooh, a thousand... I want to call them crowns. Denari and... Water jug? What's the water jug gonna do? Spreads water across the ground within a target area. Intended for watering plants, but also well suited for putting out fires. Okay. I mean, I why not? Give it to you, I guess? Or sure. All this crafting. Alright, well, let's continue on then. Oh, there's a chest over here. Don't know if it's good to steal from the, the temple grounds. What is this? Secret missives. These letters are written in a careful, skilled hand on fine volume. vellum. The text is some kind of code, but the signature is legible. This is Mithridata's signature. Theopolis is secretly corresponding with the king. With these letters in hand, I could potentially forge a similar letter. That way we might be able to lure Mithridates away from his men. But we should discuss this under more private circumstances. A lot of, um, I guess it's okay that we came in here. We're doing a lot of actual side missions. There's a pickaxe. Yeah, we'll take the pickaxe. Why not? Not sure what we're going to do with it. We've been up there. Guess we're gonna loop around. Uh, she's been sick for two days now. The healer is always busy when I come. Have we talked to you? I can't remember. Probably. Considering we nonsense. What happened to all the other scooted gods? around here already? Thank you for stopping. No, we haven't talked to her you yet. You are the Stratigos of a Roman legion, are you not? I saw you talking with Theopilus. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not Persian. Um. Why did you even bring this up? I just thought it was talking. I suppose we did anyway, in the same way. I'm hungry. Let's find something to eat. My name is Zenobia. I am the widow of Preconius Maro, the rightful governor of Musia, whom Theopilus murdered. Sorry for your loss. What can I do for you? You felt prey to such treachery. Was there something to be done? Well, there's nothing to be done for him now, and there's no reason I can see for us to be talking. No, yeah. And he paid for that failure with his life. Now I wish to redeem him by undoing the ill that was done with his death. I have many allies still among the powerful people of Musia. If you will help me kill Theopilus, in return, I promise to break the alliance with Pontus. Are you asking me to assassinate him? Well, 
I find that word distasteful. But yes, in essence. All right. Do you have a plan? I do not. Sweet. Violence is not my strength. I have no talent for it. That is why I need your help. Do you have access to his food? Perhaps you can produce some poison. Can you think of a way to lure him to his secluded location? Theopilus knows me, and she knows that I resent him. But many of the priests here dine with him. Perhaps one of them can be tricked or threatened to help you? He has such meetings occasionally, as any politician does. It might be possible to trick him somehow into thinking King Mithridates wants a meeting in secret. We did find those secret letters, and I could potentially forge a similar one based on them. But we should discuss this under more private circumstances. I'll see what we can do. Thank you, Legate. My husband was a loyal servant of Rome. He wasn't perfect, but he cared deeply for his people. He did not deserve to be cut open in the night like cattle. Looks like we have some armor. This is not as good. Uh, do we? Yeah, we actually have weapons too. Oh, it's just the pickaxe. That's not going to be anything useful. Well, I guess there's no real, real improvements around. Regular light armor. We can't even change hers, or can we now? We can now. Okay, good. Whoa. <laughs> kind of look like, just look like the state, um, state puff marshmallow man for a second. That doesn't. This picture does not represent what that looks like. I guess it does. Once you, I mean, not really, not at all. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's continue on. Just quest items, yeah. Okay. I don't think we talked to this gentleman yet, and then we'll head out. Good day to you, honored Romans. Have you need of food or medicine? What's your name? I am Alexius. I buy cured meats and medicinal herbs from the villages of Mysia and sell them here under the gaze of Apollon Phoebus. You don't need any wine. Let's just see what he... Uh, yeah, let's... Well, what do you think of the high priest? I liked him better when he was just a priest. Why has he sent our soldiers to besiege Kizikos? I have family in that city. After the proprietor died, people say he was corrupt and elitist. I don't know about any of that, but at least he did not make war upon our neighbors. All right, let's see what he's selling. So, we have everything we need, really. Do we want to... This resort an abundant at a lower price than normal. We could sell a medicine. Do we need 77 medicine? We don't really need anything. And we don't, like, even money. So we'll just forget that. Alright, let's uh, move on. I think we've done everything in here. Let us let me just check this quest for a second, because... Yeah, divide and conquer. Tonk. Find a poison help. Yeah, we need to go back to the camp. We need to go back to camp to... Well, one, heal his broken arm, and two, to talk privately about that... the plan. So we'll leave here. I don't think we're gonna really have time to go back to the camp, considering how far away it is. We'd have to go back to the to the island. We're kind of stuck here right now. I don't really want to go all the way back here. So hopefully he doesn't get too many more injuries from sitting around. 
triage. Yes, I know. I know he's hurt. He's still moderate, though. He hasn't gotten any worse. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here. When we come back, we are going to attack this campsite and do a proper invasion of this area. Uh, we have another hour and 56 minutes left. So when we come back on the next episode, we will try to secure this region. So if you want to join me on that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.